Hey everyone, it's OSK, and today we'll be learning the basics of the nunchuck. The nunchuck is the newest weapon added to Naraka Blade Point in celebration of Bruce Lee and his legacy. Just like the martial arts master, the nunchuck provides quick hits, defensive measures, and an onslaught of offensive moves that will let you dominate and control the pace of the fight. Whether you take it in trios to round out your team or try it solo, you'll find that the nunchuck is not something to be messed with. It is a brutal force in Naraka Blade Point, and I will take you through the different moves and mechanics you can use to give yourself or your team the edge. To start, we'll look at the basic attacks. And now for the focus attacks. In addition to the basic mechanics that really every weapon in Araka Blade Point has, the nunchuck brings with it a meter system. The meter system has four stages which are outlined in the construction of the nunchuck on screen. There are three ways to gain meter. The easiest way to gain meter is to take about 400 damage or so. The next way you can gain meter is by countering an attack. This will give you one charge as well. And finally, if you launch a counter attack after you successfully counter an opponent, you will gain two charges, making a counter and then follow-up attack the most effective way to gain meter in most engagements. When you gain meter, your nunchucks will glow and you'll be able to take advantage of two extra mechanics. The first comes from the horizontal focus attack, where while charging your focus attack, you will be able to deflect one or more attacks, each attack taking up one charge of your meter. Keep in mind that this will deflect melee focus attacks. The deflection itself will take you into gold focus, meaning that nobody can knock you back or hit stun you, but when you launch the counter attack it will be blue focus, so you can get countered in this window. The second and final mechanic is based off the vertical focus attack, and this lets you get some extra hits off with each charge of your meter with a maximum of three for gold focus for each part of the combo. As you can see, if I only have one charge of the meter, it will stop early, but if I have three charges, then it will go all the way through for a massive amount of hit stun and damage as well. And much like the Dragon Slayer into Nazos Might combo of the spear, this will be able to hit more than one opponent at a time. So if you're in a trio, you might be able to take two or even three players with you. As far as Soul Jades go, there are really two, Trigger and Flying Kick. Flying Kick will alter the third hit of your horizontal 1-2-3 combo with an extra damaging Flying Kick, as the name suggests. The other Soul Jade Trigger allows you to use your horizontal block without consuming a charge of your nunchuck meter. This will also let you block ranged attacks. As far as combos go, without any character skills, this seems to be very basic. Your basic combo is shown on screen with your basic uppercut combo. And sometimes when you counter, you'll be able to land a jump horizontal into a jump vertical afterwards. When fighting against a nunchuck, it's best to keep your distance and try to land damage at range. However, you should be able to make a few predictions in melee range as well. As mentioned earlier, when the nunchuck has meter charge, the nunchucks will start to glow. As far as meter mechanics go, both are based off of a focus attack. So whenever you see a glowing nunchuck, you better make sure to have your counter ready. If you don't have a counter ready or you mistime it, you're gonna have a bad time. So with that all being said, hope you enjoyed the guide. So be sure to get out there and dominate the competition with the new nunchuck.